there. That's just from a cover. And then we've got Cal L, Superman, the uh, evil version of Superman from Batman vs. Superman comics where he's infected. It's called The Infected. Here's the Rebirth Metal Batman. It's the exact same pose my statue up there was based on. These are all McFarlane, obviously, and I painted the uh, cape purple because it, you know, I love the Rebirth suit and I wanted to get that detail right. It's the only custom work I've ever done on a figure. So, you know, look how cool I am. I'm awesome, right? Yeah, you're awesome, man. Thanks, guys. Uh, that is the Grim Knight from the Fantastic Batman Who Laughs kind of one-off series. And then we have the Rebirth Joker. Uh, also, really, this is more his appearance in the Batman Who Laughs miniseries where he has those kind of weird red eyes. Um, and then this is new. This is going to be from the also Snyder and Capullo Last Night on Earth storyline also from McFarlane this is a fantastic three issue one off from DC Black Label where uh, Batman wakes up in a future wasteland the first two issues are amazing uh, the third issue is I, I didn't like the ending as much but it's still just you have to read it it's amazing um, a great story Scarecrow is these are actually two separate figures Bane was the builder figure with this and Scarecrow is um, back there with his, uh, you know, w weird balloon, half a body, hanging on to Bane thing going. But these are great figures. My one gripe is Wonder Woman's sword. As you can see, it's bent, and that's because it's made out of very thin, very kind of, you know, not stable plastic. But other than that, great line, great figures. Gotta love them. Then we go to Flashpoint. So a lot of these are, uh, two of these are Mattel. So this Batman and this Flash are Mattel. The Fantastic, such a, one of, by far, McFarlane's, but I'm sorry, these are McFarlane. Um, the rest of these are DC Direct from the Flashpoint box set. Cyborg, who actually didn't come in the box set, but uh, Aquaman, evil Aquaman there. Black instead of green. Wonder Woman with her awesome helmet. I love that look, even though she was bad. And that Flash. They're all from DC Direct. I have the other Flashpoint Batman on a different shelf now. And these two guys are from McFarlane. Such a definitive, amazing Thomas Wayne Flashpoint Batman. Came with the guns correctly. The DC Direct version didn't for whatever insane reason. So love that. Love this shelf. Love this line. This blue shelf is, you know, it's got the fewest figures on it at least on the shelves, but it's one of my favorites because I love this Long Halloween Dark Victory set as well. DC Collectibles, DC Directs. We've got all of all of the characters except still need Mad Hatter, so we'll get him soon. Um, I'm really excited about this animated adaptation. It's going to be the next thing they release, and it's going to rule. I'm kind of glad they didn't go like the over-the-top Joker. He looks more like the Killing Joke Joker that I've seen in the trailer, so really excited about this movie. So I think that gets us through all these guys. The Watchmen, who are now DC, obviously. So these are from uh, DC Collectibles. Kind of, the, they're basically essentials. Um, just in a Watchmen line. So, and they're from Doomsday Clock. I still need to get uh, Night Owl and Silk Spectre from the older line. And then we've got just a few from the DCAU, which I really love. Obviously, Apocalypse War was a fantastic movie. Um, really like that, and uh, I really enjoy, uh, you know, all the movies in this line. Uh, I do want to get some more of the Justice League members, for, because they did release them as figures, but they are pretty rare now, so we'll see if I come by any of those. If I don't get them, it's not the end of the world, so. Here's this side of the world. Let's just say hi to my desk and my comics real quick, or my nice little Funko Hall of Justice, a Batman the Animated Series statue. And the Mattel build a figure, and you can see I do read. Those are just kind of my daily readers right now. Some stacks I still need to get to. So, yeah, and then let's go over here. Maybe we will make this in one video, guys. Let's look at this. So this is new, and this is I've been waiting for this guy for quite a while. This is from Mayfax. This is the Hush Batman. Uh, this is about a hundred dollar figure. Um, I really like it. It's a great figure. I mean, you can definitely tell that it's much higher quality than your standard McFarlane figure. Um, the, the, the head sculpts, the details, obviously the massive flowing cape. 
Like I said, I'm a sucker for the grapnel gun, so you get that 3D effect on the grapnel gun. Standing on a gargoyle that came with this base in lieu of the Bruce Wayne head that the blue variant did. I would really like the Bruce Wayne head, but I'm overall, like, I like black a lot more than blue when it comes to Batman, so I am a, kind of a sucker for this, so really like it. Um, on top of my Xbox is the, uh, oh, well, let's look at this. This is another Rebirth statue you guys have seen before. Like I said, I'm having to get kind of creative with my shelf space. And then this is from the Legends of the Dark Knight line. Maybe one of the oldest figures I have displayed in terms of just lines. This is from the 90s. This epic cape is so cool. So, um, really like these figures. Um, as you, You'll see why I've moved on my mech suits if you're familiar with my old video. This is kind of a Capullo line homage. You got New 52 Batman from the Capullo line. You've got... Uh, the Zero Year, I keep forgetting the name of it. Zero Year, kind of your first appearance in the New 52 Batman. And then the Survival Suit. These are all from the Greg Capullo line. Batman, very well detailed. This is from that Riddler arc we were talking about earlier. Beautiful figure. And then we have Joker from Zero Year. Well, I'm sorry. He's not from Zero Year. This is from Death of the Family. Or no, this is from Endgame. My goodness getting my Capullo stories wrong. I can't do that. It's just when uh, he kind of burns his face off going to attack Alfred and cut his arm off in the Batcave. Now, let's talk about this figure right here. So, this is one of the best buys I have ever made when it comes to collecting. This is from, I think it's the only one they ended up releasing. It was a line that DC was going to do. It's called Prime Collectibles. Um, this is DC Direct right before it shut down. This is a, uh, it's at least a foot tall. So you can see how large it is compared to a normal six inch figure. Um, the As I said, so let me caveat this. I'm a sucker for the Rebirth suits. But I got this on Amazon for like 90 bucks. And compared to, you know, again, I love this Mafex figure. But like this is a truly, like if this were a Hot Toys figure... I wouldn't be too surprised. Just the detail and the armor on this figure came with multiple head sculpts, multiple accessories, multiple hands, an amazing box, a huge display. As you can see, Joker standing on it. This is DC on it. Very uh, wonderful articulation. We'll see if we can get to it. But if you look over here, sorry for the bad angle, but back here behind the cape, you can see he's got batarangs attached to the back of his belt. And this is just kind of a tech, almost an anime-ish look on the, um, it's almost like the Dark, if the, the Dark Knight, uh, Christopher Nolan's Batman wore a Rebirth suit, is almost how I see it. It's kind of that armor plating that you see in the Dark Knight, but it still has the Rebirth suit details, like the knee pads, um, you know, the, there's a certain sculpt that, you know, if you look at this New 52 Batman, they all have that kind of bat-shaped knee pad. You can tell that on the New 52 suit and the Rebirth suit. So just amazing details. A gorgeous figure. Beautiful flowing, you know, cape that has some, some uh, you know, uh, usually I have him kind of posing a, a better bat pose, but um, a lot of different batter ranks. It's just an amazing figure. This guy's still available on Amazon, though obviously DC Direct shut down, so I really encourage you guys to go get this figure. It's, it's, it's amazing. Um... And we have the McFarlane Batmobile. So let's look at these shelves, guys. So this is the McFarlane. So I guess where my death metal figures are going to go. It's the death metal Batman on the death metal bike. Amazing figure, man. It's just, you know, I'm, I'm excited to get the Build-A-Figure version, too, with a red guitar. I'll put Dark Father, Superman, Wonder Woman, and that other Batman kind of around the cycle here on this shelf. Um, let's go over here. So we saw, uh, we left off at the kind of uh, Batman ink. So following that would be the New 52. So this is, these are a lot of Capullo line figures here, but we've got the Justice League. We've got uh, Barry Allen. We've got Wonder Woman. We've got, I keep calling him Barry, but that's the Flash. I love this Flash figure from the Capullo line. A lot of people are hit and miss with this line because they don't like the head sculpts. As I said earlier, I'm a big Capullo fan, so I love them. Um, but I, I, I get it. They are kind of weird, but I just, I don't see how you go wrong with this Flash. Like, such an amazing figure. The lightning on him is awesome. 
I love this just clean New 52 Superman. I love, love, love. So I'm not a big fan of the trunks on Batman or Superman. So I'm very partial to the New 52 suit. My favorite Superman suit ever was when he merged in Rebirth. And he had kind of the Rebirth top, like with the kind of the lower normal Superman collar um, with the New 52 belt and boots. And it was just such a clean look. And he had kind of that more classic Superman appearance. But uh, I was really sad that they got away with that. I don't, I don't you know, they did away with that. And, they're, and now he and Batman are back in the trunks and just look kind of weird in a modern world, to be honest. But, you know, I get it. It's branding. There's a reason that none, no Batman in any of the movies has ever had trunks, though. It looks kind of dumb. Um, so there is Cyborg. He's just a, uh, icons. I have several of those just laying around different shelves. Um, and then, you know, so obviously Batman would go with them, but he's up there with his friends. Um, here's the new 52 shelf. So I've added a decent amount of figures here. Um, Mattel multiverse, red hood, uh, definitely the worst red hood figure. You can watch my Robin kind of video, my Robin video where I compare all my Robins and, any character that's worn the mantle, all the figures I have of them, which I just realized I left my DCAU Nightwing off that we just saw a minute ago of that video, but it is what it is. Um, that is the Icons uh, Super Sons 2-pack Damien. That is the uh, New 52 uh, Jim Lee kind of uh, variant uh, Batman, uh, the New 52 um, from GameStop. It's kind of the shaded comic version. I really like that as my centerpiece for the shelf. Uh, Teen Titans from the New 52 line, uh, Tim Drake, New 52 Nightwing from the Capullo line, one of my favorite Nightwing figures easily, easily my favorite red suit Nightwing. It's the only one that really gets the suit body right and the head sculpt right from the comic. Uh, that is the DC Direct New 52 Batgirl, which I want, maybe my favorite head sculpt for Batgirl because it just nails Barbara so well. Capullo Gordon. Mattel back there, uh, Mattel Multiverse, uh, Gordon is Batman back there, the rookie, Gordon in the rookie suit is Batman from the Capullo line, the villains, Joker from Joe's Garage from the Death of the Family storyline, Capullo Red Hood, which ended up being the Joker, obviously, so that's just the Joker uh, before he got thrown in the chemicals, New 52, Deathstroke from the villains line. The lazy repaint Nightwing that, uh, you know, it looks good with blue because it's how a suit looks, but uh, it's really not New 52. He did not look like that in the New 52. Uh, I didn't have that, you know, this is how his symbol looks in New 52. I'm not like that. Todd. Um, so that's the, uh, that's the kind of the New 52 Bat family and a few villains back there. Then this was my Rebirth shelf, but now it's become my kind of just modern... You know, my current Batman in comics shelf. A lot of McFarlane on here, obviously. So, you've got Batgirl. You've got Robin. That's an older Robin. And you'll see in a little bit why the um, Mattel, or the McFarlane Robin isn't with his McFarlane friends. But uh, that's the Batman Detective 1000. The multiverse, Mattel multiverse Joker back there. He's, he's kind of new 52, but, you know, whatever. Um, and then we've got... Um, Two-Face back there from the Capullo line as well. Capullo Catwoman. She's on a shelf because she doesn't like, or a stand because she doesn't like to stand up on her own very well. The, uh, that's, I, know, I guess I should put that Black Joker on the New 52 because he is literally from the New 52 villains line, but I just wanted to see him better here. Uh, McFarlane Nightwing. McFarlane Red Hood. And then because of the City of Bane storyline, I put this Thomas Wayne Batman, uh, on this shelf, this is was on. This did come with a flashpoint set, as you can see. I just sticky tacked a couple of guns on there uh, before I got that amazing McFarlane version. But this is the kind of modern Batman in comics uh, shelf. So um, give me more McFarlane. Give me a Tim Drake to go with these guys. There's my PlayStation Four. I never play anymore. The Batman. Some icons that fit in these small shelves. You've seen these before if you've seen my videos. You got Luther. You got Superman. You've got Batman, you got Harley. And then on this shelf, where my old Xbox was before I got the new one, we've got the Bat Raptor. Gosh, I need to dust. And the 66 Batmobile, just some vehicles that will fit in this nice little shelf. Uh, and then we're going to drop down to some Superman villains. So 
As you can see, a lot of different Lex Luthers. I finally got the purple, the, uh, you know, Super Friends villain Lex Luthor suit. Uh, I got Brainiac from the Alex Ross line. Um, several DC Universe classics, Armored Luthers. Uh, that one in front is pretty great. Mixelpitalik, Alex Ross, Justice Luther, the New 52, Mattel, uh, Doomed Superman. We've got an old Bizarro back there. We've got uh, the Essential Cyborg Superman there. We've got Amazo from DCUC. You've got, if you, sorry you can't see him, but that's a, I don't know what line that uh, Mongol is from. He's just huge and awesome, and I got him for like five bucks. Um, and then Doomsday, Build-A-Figure, Mattel, great Doomsday figure. Um, I want to eventually maybe pick up that two-pack Icons with Doomsday and Superman um, if I get a good deal, but I'm not going to be devastated if I don't. So Then we've got two shelves of Batman villains that kind of make up the definitive Bat-Villain shelf. Um, this is just, you know, like I have a definitive Batman shelf. I don't, I don't have all the villains for every era, but I did want, like, you know, just a big villain shelf. So they're all down here, so... Black Mask, Hush, Creeper, Capullo, Riddler. I mentioned this before, one of my favorite figures. Beautiful Riddler. The Unmasked Line Joker with his red hood. You can pop the Joker head off and put the red hood head, but he's holding it. Raj Al Ghul from the Trinity Line. DCUC Deathstroke. Uh, DCUC Croc. DCUC Man Bat. Arkham Knight Talia. Or Arkham City Talia. Uh, Capullo Mr. Freeze. Another incredible figure. I do want the DCUC freeze because it's pretty sweet, but Icons Deathstroke, DCUC Penguin, Mattel Multiverse Two Face, Hush Poison Ivy, Mattel KG Beast, Arkham Knight, or so I keep saying Knight, Arkham City Hugo Strange. So that's that shelf. And then the rest of the Batman villains, we got Mattel Build a Figure Clayface, very epic Clayface. Uh, that is Firefly from, that's from Arkham uh, Knight. And then Build-A-Figure Bane. Definitely the definitive Bane figure. Mattel Doctor Death. Arkham Knight Scarecrow. Arkham Knight Professor Pig. Greg Capullo Line Talon. And Arkham City Mad Hatter. Maybe Arkham Knight, I don't remember. Mad Hatter from the Arkham games. And then over here, we've got Grail. Icons, we've got DC UC Superboy Prime, and we've got Dark Side. I think for like the first time ever I'm gonna actually make it through a video. I make so many of these and I get halfway through and I stop because something happens, and so we're just gonna, you know, go with this poor shaky quality and all. A lot of Dragon Ball, Dragon Stars, Star Wars the Black Series, some of them have fallen over. The definitive duels from the trilogy. Villains and Sith and dicks, Jedi and heroes and hubris people. Up here we got some more uh, McFarlane. We've got the John Stewart from Justice League Unlimited, the Prince of All Satan's uh, Cyborg from Teen Titans Go, Wonder Woman, Gaga Dot Wonder Woman from '84s, the gold suit, and then. A random another uh, DC UC Batman that just went up there because he did. Then that's an old collector's case from Batman '89. Superman, my Superman shelf. You guys will have to forgive me. This shelf needs to be dusted, but I have so many figures on this shelf, it's really annoying to dust. So uh, at least air dust it soon. Um, this is a pretty awesome shelf. I uh, Superman is definitely my second favorite DC character next to Batman and all of his. Not favorite DC character, but second favorite DC lore next to the Batman lore. Um, this is the Mattel uh, Rebirth Superman, DC UC Power Girl. Hey, keep your eyes up here, guys. Uh, this is, as an aside, it is so creepy and weird when people like post figures in these sexual poses in these groups. Don't do that. It's like some weird fetish stuff that I'm not into. Uh, DC Universe Classic Superboy. Just got this Superman in the five pack. Just a nice classic Superman from DCUC. Earth 2 Superman. DCUC, all three of these. Red, blue, black suit. Injustice 2 from Mattel Multiverse. New 52 Supergirl. Uh, icons, Jonathan Kent, Superboys. Comes with Damien. The Unmasked Clark Kent. Took me a while to track this guy down. Glad I did. 
uh, the deceased, not deceased, this is uh, Black Lantern. Black Lantern Superman. One of them. I need to get the second one. DC UC Steel. McFarlane uh, Superman Unchained Suit. I need to read that. I've never actually read that story, so that's a good one. DC UC Eradicator. Uh, a beautiful figure. DC Icons Rebirth Superman here. Uh, McFarlane Red Sun Superman. McFarlane Superman Action 1000. Great definitive Superman. He's my centerpiece for this shelf, as you can see. Uh, DC Universe Classics. Um, from the uh, Elseworlds line, uh, President Superman from Red Sun. There's also President Superman, Calvin Ellis. Uh, Mattel, these are both Mattel Multiverse here. Um, this is obviously Kingdom Come Superman. First appearance Superman. New 52 Superman uh, Essentials from that New 52 Essentials line. A great figure here. If you want a cool, like, you know, less traditional classic Superman, Lee Bermejo Superman is epic. Uh, Essentials Supergirl, Miss Kara Zor L. I think we hit them all, guys. Yeah, that's the Superman shelf. Oh, and Kellex, who came with uh, Icon Superman, but is there helping out. Down here, this is the Batman on film shelf. Nothing's really changed here. So, you know, uh, a lot of Mattel Multiverse, Alfred. Uh, Batman Forever, Batman, Penguin, Mattel Multiverse. That's one. Of, that's the only figure I have from my childhood is that Two Face from Batman Forever. Uh, Mattel Joker. The only thing close you'll get to Jack Nicholson. Uh, Neca Batman. I think that's the knockoff. I do have a new one coming. It'll be the new one. Uh, Mayfex Joker. Best Heath Ledger Joker figure for the price by far. Has a knife coming out. There's the tumbler. Bane. These are both Mayfex. So this Batman Begins is Mayfex. You can pop the Bruce Wayne head onto you. Great detail. Nolan movies are my definitive Batman. I know I'm I'm a I like Snyder okay, but I'm I always think Nolan I think Nolan got, gets him right. I think Matt Reeves is about to knock it out of the park. I'm really excited to see the patents of movie. Um, and if you're not, just shut up until it comes out. If it sucks, then you can, you know, complain. Um here is Batman 66. I need to get some more of those villains. Apparently, my Fallen's about to release another Batman 66 line, so that will be pretty cool to uh, try to collect. Down here, we've got a lot of new figures. Well, I don't know. Again, it's, uh, memory is terrible. Can't remember when the last time I updated this thing was, but um, my Green Lantern shelf. And like I said, Batman is first and foremost, so I've got all the Green Lantern and Yellow Lantern and Black Lantern Batman. I uh, don't have White Lantern Batman because he's like $500, but... Guy, Kyle, Guardian, Icons, John Stewart, DCUC, Hal, Kat Matui. I forgot her name. That's not Kat Matui. I'm just trying to sound smart. Don't call me on it. Jessica Cruz, Mattel Multiverse, Simon Bass from the Justice League line of New 52, another, the other Guardian, Kilowog, Alan Scott, who should probably go on my. Uh, need to make a Justice Society shelf, so he may be getting moved soon. Yellow Lantern, Sinestro, Hal, Scarecrow, Batman, Green Lantern, Batman, guy I don't know his name with a bunch of faces, but I do know he's from the DCUC line. Black Lantern, Batman from the Black Lantern line. Arkillo, Red Lantern. Or is that Atrocitus? It's Atrocitus or Arkillo. Don't judge me. Larflees, Orange Lantern, his little minion, Indigo Lantern, The Atom, DCC Lex Luthor, White Lantern, Barry and Flash. No, wait, Barry is Flash. Barry and Hal. Stell, Black Lantern, Hal, Abin Sur, uh, from, I think that's Alan Scott from Earth 2, if I remember correctly. Parallax, Hal. And we got it. We got, oh, I forgot. Forgot him. He's a little high right now, so he kind of fell over and passed out. Green Lanterns. Teen Titans. We've got uh, really no updates here either. You know, it's pretty definitive of the Titans. I'm sure I'm missing, like, a few of them. Um, got big, I got Red Arrow. I guess I don't have an arsenal. I could look for him. Blue Beetle. Uh... 
Beast Boy, Wonder Girl, which is Cassie, uh, another duplicate of Damien, um, I could get a Tim for this shelf too, Dick is Nightwing, uh, Mattel Multiverse Starfire, great line, Brightest Day Aqualad, one of the only and best Aqualad figures, Kid Flash, Impulse, Donna Troy, Hawk and Dove, Steel, his daughter, no, that's Natasha Irons, Connor Kent, Wally West, Vic Stone, that's 80s Vic Stone, the sweet look, and Raven. Down here, we've got the Snyderverse. These are all the Mattel multiverse figures. A very amazing Black Manta figure. Aquaman, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Shazam, Flash, CW Flash, CW Supergirl, CW Reverse Flash, CW Jay Garrick, who's not really Jay Garrick, CW The Atom, CW Black Lightning. These are like all Mattel figures, um, except for, I think, The Flashes. Those are DC Direct. Um... Justice League Batman, Nightmare Batman, Armored Batman from Batman vs. Superman, and a knockoff cyborg, just because I never got the Mattel cyborg. So, there is your Snyder Justice League. Let's look at my desk. It's my awesome Cowboys draft hat. It's my computer. It's my Batman cup. It's my headset that I do meetings on. It's my Batmobile. Some Funkos. Dak Prescott. This is the amazing lightning effect. So, I'm like, like I said, Flash is probably like my fourth or fifth favorite lore, but he is so awesome. He is so awesome. This is the McFarlane Flash. Lightning effects are amazing. Like, I, I just love posing him. I'm terrible at posing figures, but there's a Goku statue to distract you from his terrible pose. Uh, I just love the lightning effects and having him run. Then the gold label McFarlane Batman that I wasn't even originally going to get, but I enjoyed so much. So I really ended up kind of liking this figure, and he goes on my desk, and Goku's going Super Saiyan. So the moment you've all been waiting for, the cave. This is the Bat Cave, or the, I, I don't remember the, it's a generic name, but it's from Ultimate Sets. Um, was not that expensive. It is all made of cardboard, but as displays go, you know, really help me display all my bat stuff prominently. Um, so as you can see, I've got the Spin Master Batmobile kind of here in the middle as the centerpiece. McFarlane Damien. This is where all the Rebirth shelf went. So we have Rebirth Batman because, again, it's my favorite suit. So if I'm going to put figures in the Batcave, it's going to be from my favorite era, my favorite aesthetic. Um, so let's go start here first. Batwoman and Batwing from Mattel. Mattel build a figure rookie. I guess maybe rookie shouldn't be in the cave, but he is. Uh, Justice Buster, Mattel build a figure. Capullo line, just the Thrasher suit, the Hellbat, an extra suit for Damien. I just need to pop that head off. I just snapped his neck instead. It's Damien's old suit because you can see he's grown up into this uh, sweet new suit. So it's kind of just displayed. Tim, Red Robin, Mattel, also Mattel spoiler, Stephanie Brown. That's from the Hush line. It's Batman's diving suit and the suit chamber. Mattel Alfred. Batgirl's doing technology stuff at the computer. Darwin Cook Catwoman. And then three essentials. We've got Jason Todd, Red Hood. We've got Barbara Gordon, which you just saw. And we've got Mr. Grayson. Just a lot of accessories over here on the gear table. Obviously, you know, in reality, Batman wouldn't have just this small table that has all his gear on it. So you find a better way to display it. But as as displayed bat caves go, and I'm sorry for the glare of the sun. It's kind of five in the afternoon. But as far as displayed bat caves go, like that's pretty sweet, right? At least you don't have to see, you know, if I frame get the frame right, I don't have to see Cowboys jerseys anymore. So it's a win for everyone. Um, really love this, though. Extreme Sets has a lot of cool stuff. If you guys like displaying, they have a lot of different sets, a lot of different... Um, you know, things you can do. So just, I encourage you guys to check that out. It was really easy to set up. Do need a lot of space for it, but they have smaller size sets too. So it's my plug for extreme sets who I just think is cool and want to keep making stuff. So, all right, last, last bit here, guys, we're almost done. 
the flash shelf, which has been updated a little bit. Um, that's the Essential Speed Force Flash, old Mattel Johnny Quick, the new McFarlane Injustice Flash, Injustice Grodd. He is really big, by the way, in case you can't tell. I can never figure out how to attach the lightning effects either. I need to look that up. Um, this is the uh, Mattel New 52 Flash, an old DCUC Flash back there, Wally West, a duplicate of him from Mattel, Jay Garrick, and Kid Flash from Alex Ross. So it's the fastest man alive. A random Justice League. This is just literally a random. It's missing Superman, but and a couple others actually. I guess it's missing Superman and Flash. But this is just like some random figures I had that uh, kind of ran out of shelf space. So there are a lot of Mattel, uh, Mattel Multiverse Wonder Woman, uh, DC Direct New Fifty Two, Green Lantern, Mattel Multiverse Rebirth Batman. It's an old Mattel Aquaman, the sweet Aquaman look uh, from the '90s from the Justice League. Uh, that's Mattel John Stewart. And that is the Earth 2 Hot Girl. My random, awesome Martian Manhunter shelf that I just made a Martian Manhunter shelf because I just kept getting them. And I was like, ah, oh, I like Martian Manhunter. I like John Jones. So, unmasked Martian Manhunter there on the right. You've got Black Lantern Martian Manhunter in the middle. The Brightest Day Martian Manhunter here, which is a really great figure. If I didn't love the New 52 one so much, he'd be on my definitive shelf. First appearance of Martian Manhunter, which looks pretty close to Zack Snyder's in the new Snyder Cut Justice League. And uh, Alex Ross, Invisible Martian Manhunter variant. And DCUC with the hand morph Martian Manhunter variant. Shout out to Mesa Bass Amps. I also play music. There's my bass. One of them. Um, icons. So a lot of icons here. Uh, Flash, Rebirth Batman, Rebirth Superman, a duplicate. Another cyborg back there, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Aquaman back there. And last but not least, just kind of some random DC heroes. Um, can make a Justice Society shelf eventually. You've got Our Man. By the way, that new uh, World War II Justice Society movie is freaking incredible. So uh, go watch that. Um, Jonah Hex, DCUC. Back there, you've got the Ray and Vixen, uh, Midnighter, Stargirl. Big Barda and Mr. Miracle, who, if I get more, a little more room, I'm going to put them on that definitive shelf. And then back there, we've got uh, uh, Sand, the Sandman, that's his name. And finally, uh, God, from Crisis on Infinite Earth, what is his name? Uh, the Monitor, that's the Monitor, not the Annie Monitor. So hopefully I didn't rush too much. Hopefully the video isn't too shaky. But hopefully if you're a collector, you guys had fun walking through this with me. If you guys have collections, just do what I did. Pull out your phone, make a video, talk about it, have some fun. Um, I, I think that, you know, like this is, a, it can be an expensive hobby, but it's very gratifying. I collect just because I love walking in 